Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you really quickly how to uh, use um, scripts in Storyboard Pro. Uh, this is Mike Milo, by the way, for anybody that doesn't know who I am. Doing this for friends, but I'm going to post this on YouTube so that maybe people will see it that aren't friends. And then they will become friends, and it will be a happy, happy, happier world. Okay. All right, so um, all I'm going to do is I am going to create a couple of new scenes. And granted, now, I, I don't know how to use all this stuff. It's all JavaScript. If you know how to use JavaScript, you're awesome. Um, but I don't know how to use JavaScript. But it doesn't necessarily matter so much <clears throat> to at least make use of the features that exist that they you know the scripts that they've already done all right <clears throat> so so I made a couple of scenes just to demonstrate a couple of the uh, the, the things that you can do sorry about that little window there um, but it eh, I don't know how to turn it off all right so uh, anyhow so we're gonna go up to windows I'm gonna go down to script editor and for whatever reason it's tiny I don't know all right <clears throat> so the things that you got to do here there's a number of these things the number one really useful ones that I've found are the delete layer uh, and then there's another one delete hidden layer yeah delete hidden layer and so in other words what you can do with this script is you can um, run it and after you've selected a certain amount of layers and it can be across scenes as well. Um, it will delete those layers. Now, I mean, you might say, well, all right, who cares about that? But that comes up a lot. I teach this class, a class in Storyboard Pro as well, and that question comes up quite often. So anyway, this is how you would delete across multiple uh, scenes the same exact layer. Now the layer has to be named the same thing. So I'm going to delete, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody's texting me. Oh, it's my notification. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, da, 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 da. all right. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to select the delete layer. I'm going to hold down the command and shift key. If you're using a Mac, if you're using a PC, it's the, con it's the, the control and shift key so I'm gonna hit a and then I'm going I'm gonna hit the first scene I'm gonna hit at, well well and also I should I should add that this uh, this is the thumbnail view um, if you slide the thumbnail view so it's larger you can actually see a preview of the uh, of the layers here so you can see this is layer a here's layer a here so if I hit uh, command shift and hold down hold it down while I select a on the last frame of the last scene I want to delete the layer on you'll see that they all turn blue and every one of them now is selected so now if I go back to my scripts view and I go to run that script <clears throat> the way you go to run it you select it you go up to this little uh, hamburger-y kind of thing, scroll down to play and select run and watch what's going to happen. So it's going to have this delete layer thing, this window comes up, it's going to have this the delete layer selected, then you also have to select the function and click OK. When you do that, now you have a chance to delete the layers. And actually, I'm not sure you actually have to, I, I think it doesn't show this, but I think you do have to select the layers for this delete layers second window to come up. I don't believe it comes up otherwise. But let's say I want to delete the A's because that's what I did. Um, and I click OK. And then now you'll see the following layers have been deleted all in layer uh, uh, scene four or five, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I guess I didn't select all of them. But see, there's all these other layers. They're still there in layer A in scene one, but they're not there in scene four <clears throat> where I started them. See, see, it's actually you, you could. So it, it's pretty safe in the fact that I did not select the first two 
uh, panels in layer four, in scene four, but I did select the second two, and then I selected them all in five. If I wanted to go back again and run this thing completely in every scene, I can do that. Let's say I want to get rid of C in every scene. So I'll go all the way, I'm going to go from one, scene one, select the C layer, go all the way to five, select the C layer, but when after I'm holding down command shift, select it, it selects every layer in the entire, in the entire uh, film. Go back to my script editor, make sure delete layer is selected. I go back to play and run. <clears throat> and you'll see now the second time you go to run this, it doesn't require you to select that secondary delete layer thing, which is kind of cool. And then so now I'm going to select layer C, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to get rid of it. And now all of my uh, layer C's have been deleted. So there you go. Now there's other things that basically works the same way for these. I don't really know what all these things do. I think this toggle layer thing, it looks like it says... Oh, you can actually turn the layer on and off if I want to toggle the layer. Let, let's see what it does. Um, I'm going to go to play, run, and then, ah, okay, so now if I want to turn off layer A, or let's say I want to turn the BG off and hide it, I can click OK, and then now they've been, whoa, they've been deleted. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that wasn't good. All right, so anyway... I'm not sure what some of these things do, but uh, everybody was asking me about the uh, delete layer function. And you can see that that works very well. All right. So um, anyway, see you later. Bye.